In this lesson, we learn how to simplify thirds. We will learn how to simplify these square roots and we will also look at examples with the number in front of the square root. To simplify a third, write the third as a product of two numbers. One of these numbers must be the largest square number that divides into the original number. Then we calculate the square root of this square number. For example, simplify root 20. The first step is to find the largest square number that divides into 20. So we list the square numbers. 1 times 1 equals 1. 2 times 2 equals 4. 3 times 3 equals 9. 4 times 4 equals 16. 5 times 5 equals 25. 6 times 6 equals 36 and 7 times 7 equals 49. We will stop here, but we can keep going if we have a very large third. We will split root 20 into two square roots. We look for the largest square number in our list that divides into 20. This is 4. So we put 4 under our first square root. 4 times 5 equals 20. So we write root 20 as root 4, root 5. We now simply square root the 4 to get 2. We cannot square the root 5 exactly, so we leave it as root 5. Root 20 simplified is 2 root 5. Here we simplify root 32. Here are our square numbers. We split root 32 into two square roots. We need the biggest square number that divides into 32. Although 4 goes into 32, we choose 16 because it is larger. 16 times 2 equals 32. We now square root 16. The square root of 16 equals 4. We keep root 2 as root 2. Root 32 simplified equals 4 root 2. Simplify root 50. Here are the square numbers. We look for the largest number which divides into 50. This is 25. 25 times 2 equals 50. Now we square root 25 to get 5 and leave root 2 as root 2. This time we have a 5 in front of our third of root 18. We simply leave the whole number out in front of the third. We will split the root 18. So we look for the largest square number that goes into 18. This is 9. 9 times 2 equals 18. Now we square root 9. First, we leave the 5 out front. The square root of 9 is 3. We always leave thirds that we cannot square root exactly as they are. Now we can multiply 5 by 3 to get 15. Then we have root 2. 5 root 18 simplifies to 15 root 2. The process is the same as before, but we multiply by 5. Here is 2 root 98. Because we have 2 in front of the third, we write this 2 down first. Now we find the largest square number that divides into 98. This is a more challenging example, but since 98 is even, we can try dividing it by 2. 49 is the largest square number that goes into 98. 
49 times 2 equals 98. We leave the 2 at the front. The square root of 49 is 7. We leave root 2 as root 2. Multiplying the integers, 2 times 7 equals 14. And we have root 2. 2 root 98 simplifies to 14 root 2. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.